Art and faith come together in a remarkable body of work on exhibit here in Salt Lake City. Yeah, remarkable because it was created by a child. Carol Makita is here with the story. Samantha and Jed, at the ripe old age of 12, Akiana Kramerik is internationally recognized as a child prodigy. I spoke with her by satellite. She takes no credit for her talent, but insists the very idea of her work came from God. She painted this self-portrait at age eight. Akiana Kramerik says God told her to create works of art, even gave her the visions for them, starting when she was four. The only problem, her parents were atheists. At first, when I had the dream and the vision, I didn't one quite didn't want to tell my mom or my dad. It's just, it was just between me and God. But a couple weeks later, I did tell my mother, and she listened and she believed in me. Her images of Jesus Christ are sought after. She says the light side of his face represents heaven. The dark side represents suffering on earth. Her heart is with children of all races, especially those who have been mistreated or abandoned. I want to inspire people with my artwork, and I want them to feel the feeling that I was going through when I painted that painting. The messages of some paintings, she says, are clearly revealed to her. Others remain a mystery, as with this one. She writes what the angel gazes at is of eternal significance, yet what it is has not been revealed to me. She paints both heaven and earthly creatures. Her art astonishes adults. Her depth of writing, her poetry, is incredible to me for a child that young. I am just totally amazed at her talent and her expression. Akiana paints four to five hours a day. Christie's will auction a painting next month, expecting to bring a million dollars for charity. My goal is to physically go there and help those children. And I have no doubt she will. No longer atheists, her parents and brothers help market her work. Akiana Art Tour is at the Patrick Moore Gallery in Salt Lake. Her paintings and poetry will be here through June 2nd. It's curious the effect on her parents. That's interesting, Carol. Yeah, and we'll have to see what's in her future. She's yeah. only 12 years old My now. My goodness. Yeah, it's bright and it's big. Yeah. Well, uh, and I, I looked out the window at around yeah. 2 o'clock. A Salt Lake Gallery is showing the works of a child prodigy. The paintings of Akiana Kramerik are now internationally recognized. She says when she was four years old, God told her to create the art and gave her visions of what she should paint. Her biggest challenge was convincing her parents they were atheists. At first, when I had the dream and the vision, I didn't one quite didn't want to tell my mom or my dad. It's just, it was just between me and God. But a couple weeks later, I did tell my mother, and she listened and she believed in me. In fact, her parents are no longer atheists. They market their daughter's artwork. Christie's will auction one of her paintings for charity next month, expecting to bring in a million dollars. Akiana's art tour will be at Pat Patrick Moore Gallery in Salt Lake through June 2nd. 12 years old. Wow. Other artists who may only aspire to sell a painting for a million dollars are uh, putting their talent on the sidewalk. Art She's called a child prodigy for her art that is viewed in person and also on the internet by millions. Boy, Akiana Kramerick says she's just another girl from Idaho but her story is anything but common. At just eight years old, she had already painted masterful works claiming a vision from God. ABC 4's Reed Cowan joins us now from the art gallery in Salt Lake City where he met Akiana to hear her work, see her work and actually hear her message. Reed? Well, this young lady called Akiana has been on Oprah, she's been on World News Tonight, and really she's become a worldwide phenomenon. At the age of eight, she was already painting works that by many accounts are masterful, and she says, inspired. The meaning of my life is trying to help as many children around the world as possible, I guess. Akiana's mission and meaning started, she says, when as a child, she had a vision about God and Jesus. One day I had a vision and a dream about God, um, heaven and galaxies and universes. Her vision came at a time when her parents were atheists, something she says changed as parent tuned into a child who was tuned in to God. Little by little they started believing in me and 
They supported me through all this way. From her vision, she says, came her art. This one, called the Prince of Peace, came through her when she was only eight. The light in his eye, in the dark side, represents he'll always be with us when we're in trials and we're, when we're in suffering or we have burden. With national exposure and a huge internet present, Akiana's art appeals to millions of fans all over the world. Most particularly, she says, for parents who have lost a child. That would mean something to me. <laughs> I wanted this boy to express my experience. Because God has shown me the galaxies. God has shown me heaven. Akiana says her message to parents whose children have died is best summed up in the separation, saying even in death, there is hope. That they'll one day be reunited again. And they will. And the draw continues with lines out the door. A portion of the proceeds of today's art gallery and sale will go to charity, Akiana says. She says one of her goals in life is to help heal our world. Back to you guys. She is an amazing child. Thank you, Reed. Akiana says one of her life's ambitions is to help children in Africa by building art schools. If you would like to see more of Akiana's work, just link to it through our website at abc4.com and go to As Seen On. Well, it only takes... Well, a child prodigy from Idaho who claims to have seen the face of God visited Utah today to share her art and her message. Her name is Akiana Kramerick, and she has been on Oprah. She's also been on World News Tonight. And because of the amazing artwork she began creating while just a young child, Kramerick says she was born to atheists who converted to believing in God and Jesus when she had a vision. Some of her amazing work was done at only eight years of age. And while in Utah today, Akiana says that she had a steady stream of people who are drawn to her because her work of I wanted to give hope to them that one day they'll be reunited again. And, and that's what I really want to bring, you know, hope to people. The young artist and poet says one of her goals is to build art schools in Africa. And if you would like to see more of Akiana Kramerick's work, just go to our website at abc4.com and we will link you to her website from there. Yeah, that's amazing. She is an incredible talent. I can't believe it. Well, all around Utah, the jazz are...